Yeah, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Victor Basui, and the channel is My Take on it with Dr. Victor Basui. In today's video, we're going to be looking at um, signs of vision and eye problems in infants. Um, I've seen a lot of cases where parents bring their kids in for first eye examination. Sometimes the kid is about uh, 8 or even 10 years old never had an eye examination they only bring in the child in probably because the child has an infection and uh, in doing that you find that the child has more problems that could have been taken care of earlier on if they had uh, gone for a routine uh, eye examination and most times uh, this thing is from uh, ignorance because a lot of parents will say oh they didn't know they thought the child has to be able to read everything before their first examination some will tell you that the child uh, they thought the child could see everything so they didn't they didn't see the need for an eye examination so we're going to look at a few uh, indication that the child needs to see an eye doctor ideally your first eye examination will be between six months to 12 months that's the first time People wonder, okay, at that age, what is the child going to be able to see at the eye doctor? What is the child going to be able to, uh, what are you going to test for? Well, there are three basic things. The first thing is, um, as the, um, every child is not born with full vision. Just the same way they are not born completely developed. Over time, they learn to crawl, they learn to walk, then they learn to run. Uh, the same way with the eyes. So when you go in for that first examination between six months and um, one year, what the doctor is checking is um, first and foremost, can the child use both eyes together, which is our binocular vision? Can the child track objects? Can the child focus their eyes? If you bring something close like this, can they for can they follow it? Uh, if you move an object across up and down can they follow it and can they follow it with both eyes together so that's binocular vision so three things ability to use both eyes together ability to track objects and um, ability to focus on objects so those are the basic things so it's mostly for um, eye move eye muscle check but other than that once the child is over a year then two years three years you should check again then once the child is three years and every year they have to check until they get to 1920 where they can now be coming in on um, based on their own schedule because at that time they are adults so but what do we look for in infants first and foremost anytime your baby has a red eye or uh, has a red eye you should get it checked whether there's mucus discharge or not doesn't matter get it checked it could be an infection then anytime your child is suddenly running away from light like anytime there's light source you see the child doing this it means the child is extra sensitive to light that could be an indication of what we call anterior uveitis which could also be an indication that the child has a um, uh, a systemic condition that is manifesting as that anterior uveitis. So red eye, uh, sensitivity to light, which is when you see them doing this. Then if the eye starts to turn inward or outward, sometimes you see one eye turns inward or it turn, the other eye turns uh, outward. This is a very important part because anytime the eye is turning out of fixation, especially if it's one eye, what is happening is uh, it means the vision in that eye is very poor. So when the child opens both eyes, this is the same thing in adults when you have one eye turning in or turning out. When the two eyes are opened, because the two eyes are supposed to send images to the brain, the, the, very, the, the, the weaker eye sends a very blurred image to the brain, while the clear one sends a good image. So the brain finds it difficult to fuse both images. Then the brain now has an adaptive mechanism. What it does is to ignore the uh, information from the bad eye. So in order to ignore the information from the poor eye, the brain directs that eye to turn away. So it can turn inward or it can turn outward. It doesn't matter. It just means that the vision in that eye is very poor compared to the next eye. 
what usually what do we usually do this can be corrected if it's caught uh, at the very early age say before the child turns eight sometimes you patch what you do you patch the good one and force the other one the bad one to come up in terms of vision so you can force that force the left eye the vision in that eye to improve by closing or patching the good eye uh, sometimes correcting the vision could make a difference because usually anytime the vision uh, the prescription difference is more than three diopters between the two eyes the brain finds it difficult to fuse those images so if you can correct the poor one at a very early age then the brain will be able to fuse both images and you won't find any uh, the eye drifting in or drifting out then sometimes if it's a muscle problem that is causing the eye to drift it can be co uh, corrected by using uh, prisms in the glasses prism redirects the eye to uh, in inward or outward depending on the base of the prism alternatively there's also surgical uh, procedure to correct that um, muscle that is um, weak because usually every eye has um, two sets of muscles one will be pulling inward the other one is pulling outward to, uh, for you to have a straight vision the two eyes have to maintain the same tension so if this one is pulling and this one cannot uh, counterbalance it it means the eye is going to pull out if this one is pulling and this one cannot counterbalance the eye pulls uh, pulls in and the same in either uh, either eye so when you have um, the child with uh, uh, the eye drifting inward or outward get it checked especially at the very initial stage where it can still be um, corrected another thing we need to look out for sometimes you'll find uh, you you just if you look at the eye you find uh, patients tend to describe it as the eye dancing the eye one eye just keeps moving that the eye jumps that's the way they describe it could be one eye could be in both eyes but the, you know, the medical terminology for this is uh, nystagmus when you have a child with the um, eye jumping like that it is very important to get it checked and as soon as you notice it because the focusing mechanism of the eye is like a camera think about it you cannot hold the camera and be shaking it and expect to have a clear image it's not going to work so the eye is like that so when you have nystagmus the vision automatically goes down and that eye if it's not corrected early it's going to lead to what to call them low vision on the long run low vision is a mini form of blindness so we don't want the child because it will affect the child throughout their entire life once the in that low vision um, category so the earlier you can help that child the better it is then again if you find a child that the eyes always watery for no reason the eye just keeps watering 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 most times what is happening is the tear duct might be blocked that's the drainage system for the tear duct might be blocked and that's why the eye is watery so that needs to see a specialist so that that way the uh, that drainage system can be uh, unclogged then again the main one when you look at a child's pupil and you see it white for most of us if you look at the pupil you see black right the black the pupil is the center of the eye the small hole in the center of the eye most people see it is black but when you look at the child and you see that white it's called leukocoria and most times it could be an indication of a cancer so when you see a white pupil is a form of cataract you see a white pupil in a child please go and get it checked I thought I'll share this a uh, few points with you guys. Ignorance uh, in court is not an excuse like they say. So let's be more uh, let's be more vigilant. It may not be your child, maybe another person's uh, another person's child and you see any of these things, please uh, raise an alarm and make sure they get checked as soon as possible. So please share the video with others. You may know but others may not. You may just be saving uh, saving somebody out there. Thank you ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you at the next video. Thank you.